Well, most simply would be something that, akin to what happened with Google of uh, of um, China trying to uh, clamp down on what can be said, what what kind of information is available over Facebook to a degree that essentially drives Chinese users away, you know, towards a, a local, you know, towards a, the Chinese uh, official alternative. Um, and you know. To that degree, then, then the diplomatic presence of Facebook is trying to get the U.S. to do something about that. There's also the possibility that sort of the flip side, that Facebook becomes a mechanism for enhancing Chinese nationalism in a way that the U.S. starts to find um, uncomfortable. And what, you know, if you spend a lot of time online looking at uh, Chinese sites, you'll find that there's a, a very strong form of Chinese nationalism on a lot of internet sites that um, that Facebook could become another platform for. In fact, probably already is another platform for, but may but this may sort of metastasize into something much more virulent, much more powerful, much more dangerous in a way that may cause increased conflict between the US and, and China. Um, yeah, I think those are probably the two the two big scenarios about you know, a political, you know, uh, Facebook as as a political entity between the U.S. and China.